Hello everyone, welcome back to another Block City Wars video. Today we're going to be talking about armor, which armor sets to get, which armor sets to use, and um, yeah, which ones to ignore. All right, even if you're high level, this video is for you because we're going to be going into going over all the armor sets. All right, which ones are worth getting and having and using, and and when you use them. All right. Now, uh, as you can see, this is more of a civilian wear outfit, not made for actual fighting, although I can very easily kill. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's get into this, shall we? Alright, so, I don't have every armor, but I have had a lot of these in previous accounts. First off, when you start out the game, you get this uh, unupgraded medium armor, okay? But that's only temporary, and eventually, the, when the timer runs out, you lose this armor, and, you know. So, if you're in Wild League, definitely get the medium armor, and get it all the way upgraded. Now, the fire armor and ice armor, those are in between medium and heavy, alright? And you can only get these from chests, so if you get them from chests, definitely make it your main set of armor, okay? Especially if you get the upgrade, alright. Okay, so yeah. So, Ice and Fire Armor, they have the same armor ratings, but they also have an extra effect, full freeze protection and some extra lives. They are slightly better than Medium Armor, okay? If you get your Medium Armor fully upgraded, and you only have, like, the basic Fire or Ice Armor, then yeah, use your Medium Armor, because it'll be better. But, you know, if you get the second upgrade for either of these, then yeah, that will be better than Max Strength Medium Armor, okay? Heavy Armor, it's decent. Fully upgraded, it's... Okay, it's just, like, it's almost double the um, armor rating of Medium Armor. When it's fully upgraded okay so it would be a decent investment but you know it is 15,000 I mean that can take a little bit to get if you've it's not the worst thing in the world to get right it definitely would be a decent investment all right golden armor though golden armor is another criminal league armor but it's not worth having all right get the heavy armor and then start saving all your gold for Pro League Armor, okay? Because Pro League Armor is one of the biggest costing things in the game, alright? So yeah, let's, so yeah, ignore Golden Armor, despite the fact that it looks cool, unless you have, like, infinite gold, okay? Unless you've bought literally everything else in the game and want to just complete the collection, don't really get Golden Armor, okay? Just not worth having, because if you save up a little bit more, you can get the Pro League armor, the Exoskeleton. Now, I have the Max Diamond armor right now, and I don't have the Exoskeleton, but I can talk about them because I have had the Exoskeleton maximum upgraded twice on two previous accounts. So, yeah. I can say with certainty that the Exoskeleton is the best armor set in the game. Better than Diamond, get the Exoskeleton. It's what you're going to want. Alright? The diamond, all the max diamond gives you is 400. Alright? It's really just, you know, 400 extra hearts. But, you know, the Maximus Exoskeleton is 500 extra armor points. Alright? 500 armor points. So, yeah. It's better in armor points and increased jump height. Alright? Now, you might see the slightly reduced movement speed of the soldier and think, oh, well, that, if it makes me slower, then the diamond armor is what, you, what I want. No, let me tell you, when you get maximum upgraded exoskeleton, you don't even notice. All right? It is super difficult to even notice the uh, slowness, all right? the movement reduction. It is super difficult to even notice. It is so slight that it's not even a factor anymore. Okay? Do, yeah, don't even worry about that. That is... Yeah. I I beat... On my previous accounts, i beaten people with the diamond armor. Maximum upgraded. I've beaten them. Okay? Using the exoskeleton. It's not... 
it's not noticeable, all right? Barely, if at all. Now, on to headgear. First thing you're going to want to buy is the Emperor's Crown, all right? Because it increases the amount of picked up money, which are those little green circles that appear when sometimes when you kill someone, all right? That's the picked up money, all right? Money you get from rewards or chests does not get doubled, but it will double any, th any of those, you know, green circles on the ground, okay? That is what the game considers as picked up money. And it is what you're going to want to use in single missions when you grind for rewards, okay? Because, you know, it's a lot more common that they drop cash in single missions. That's a lot more of a common drop, and it's a lot easier to get. So yeah, definitely use get the Emperor's Crown as soon as you can, but do not use it in any multiplayer modes, okay? If you're going for like a well-rounded type of um, build, you know, where you're going to be using all of these weapons, the Block City Cap would be a decent investment if you're going to switch between multiple weapons, okay? However, it I can't see this Block City Cap as being a as much of a boost as the specific weapon hats, okay? Like, the cowboy hat only increases pistol damage. Well, I'm sure it increases pistol damage more than the Block City Cap does, because the Block City Cap increases all weapon damage. I mean, if I'm wrong on that, you can let me know in the comments, okay, if someone else who knows more about these specific buffs, because it doesn't say, but, you know, that's a very common balance, like, you'll find stuff i've seen stuff in games that boosts buffs all weapons like for example protection the protection for enchantment in minecraft fire protection like with the protection enchantment in minecraft you get fire protection as well you get protection from all damage however the fire protection enchantment protects you gives you better fire protection than the normal protection enchantment okay yeah, you get that i hope i'm not confusing you but anyway yeah, so I am pretty sure that if this hat follow if these hats follow the normal balance, then yeah, Block City Cap does not increase damage of pistols as much as the cowboy hat, and does not increase the damage of melee weapons as much as the spooky mask. So yeah, Block City Cap it's decent for you know if you're going to use a well-rounded type of it type of loadout, okay, with like say you know. A laser pistol, machine gun, a, you know, freezer or rocket launcher, and, you know, melee. Yeah, if you're going to be using all that, then, yeah, the block city cap would definitely be a good thing to have. If you're going to be one of those people who focus on a single weapon, then go for one of the other hats, all right? If you're going to be, if you're, a uh, now, hunter pistol, the revolver, you know, there are plenty of pistols, and you might want to just main with these, because these can be pretty decent in combat. Especially if you get the rail pistol, the best pistol in the game. Then the cowboy hat would be a good thing for you to have, alright? If you're, you know, one of those pro leaguers who, you know, main with the rail pistol, then yeah, definitely use the cowboy hat. The army helmet, I do want to mention, I suspect that it increases tank fire rate, but um, it's hard to tell. I'm gonna try and show you, alright? So, let's... You guys can let me know if this makes a difference, alright? So, here's the... We'll show you the reload speed, alright? Okay, there's that reload speed. And then, here's the reload speed with the arm with the army helmet was that any faster if you can tell me if that was faster then yeah it would definitely be a good thing to use but you know if it wasn't then yeah it's a decent help but you know it's decent but i personally would recommend going for something that increases damage all right unless you're going to use a gun like light machine gun or lmg as your main then the army helmet really isn't gonna help too much because other guns have like decent reload you know but i know those guns are slower so the army helmet would be good for those moving on the robber mask is really my main because it enhances the damage of all of these guns 
meaning the AA-24 and the plasma gun, which are the best primary weapons in the game, are buffed by this mask, alright? So this is definitely a good one to have. Now, the spooky mask, it increases melee weapon damage, and there are some decent melee weapons, but melee isn't one that you should really focus on. It's better to use just the robber mask, you know, if you still want to boost to both, if you still want to boost it, use the block city cap, but that's about it, because you're not going to want to close the distance with melee weapons, I mentioned in my last video. So melee weapons aren't the most useful thing in this game, alright? So don't just, so I wouldn't recommend using the spooky mask. Get the prior, get the robber mask, cowboy hat, or the block city cap, okay? And the army helmet if it does increase the reload speed of tanks. I think I tried that in the past and it looked like it did, but you know, now when I try it, it just, I can't tell. I can't tell. Okay, so anyway, moving on to boots, all right? The best boots in the game, the ones you're going to want to use, is the army boots, okay? The sheriff's boots are really good for kinetic damage, so basically anything that's not a laser weapon is kinetic, alright? And that's what the sheriff's boots do. The boots from the future can reduce jetpack fuel and consumption. They help jetpacks last longer, and that is a very noticeable effect, alright? It's a very useful effect, but my favorite is the army boots, alright? Let's just... That's without the army boots. But now, here it is with the army boots. It's, it's noticeable. It's much faster, and I have won so many fights with the combination of the AA-24 and the army boots. Okay? Definitely use the army boots. Those are the best boots in the game, without question. Sheriff's boots are a good runner-up, and so are the boots from the future, but sh the army boots are just... the extra fire rate is just borderline overpowered. Because imagine if you could combine it with the fully upgraded minigun, okay? That's something I've never done, but that would just be insane, okay? Yeah. Army boots, Get those, use them as your main set of boots, because they have served me so well, better than any other pair of boots. So yeah, um, that's about it. If this did help you at all, please consider hitting subscribe, because the more the number of subs I have goes up, the you know more I know I've helped, okay? So with that, my friends, sayonara.